You've seen these ads before advertising yeah. fur coats? Yeah, but she's got an album out calls. What becomes a semi-legend most? <laughs> it's gonna be out the end of this month. Would you welcome, please, Joan Rivers. <laughs> They teach you to applaud when you're a child. What is this? <laughs> Nobody ever told you anything. A little, yes, thank there, it's you. There's a little, a little footstool coming thank out for you. Thank you, thank you. I'm at, exhausted. They didn't see the back of the cover here. Oh, give me yes. A, give a shot of the back of the cover here. Yeah, isn't that wonderful? It's for my, my uh, must piano. Look, must look closely at the royal yes. family and look over here. Okay. I didn't know. I heard it. Oh. Really close. Oh, she was at my house. These late. I'm so glad. While she was on the trip. Oh, I mean, I had two weeks with her at the house. You know, friendship is friendship, but where are you going to take the Queen of England? You, you go to Burger Queen, you go to Queen, Burger Queen, well, San Francisco. You go, you go to Burger King, you go to Crown Books, and you, you're set. That's oh. the drag, and she, huh? she was in a lousy mood. Did you meet her? No, I didn't go to the, uh, I was invited to go to I know, she party, told but, me. But I, well, yeah. Yeah. Yes, but I, well, I didn't go. She was very upset, because it oh, rained the whole time, <laughs> and she had brought, you know, a trunk full of bikinis, and it was... <laughs> <laughs> she, she gets them at the House of Dowdy, I hear, <laughs> over there. Who does her clothes? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, wait a minute. The Queen of England should dress up better. Come on. Yeah. It's like Helen Keller designed her clothes. I mean, it's... <laughs> you remember that? Well, the hat is a little... <laughs> she saw in my house, I had put a doily under kitty litter. She said, oh, I'll wear that today. <laughs> I mean, she... <laughs> no, <laughs> and I took her shopping. Well, yeah? Well, now, where you know, would you take the queen shopping? Well, yeah, I took her up and down Rodeo Drive, because who else is going to go with you but a friend, you know? You're right, of course. But she has no class. I mean, no, not, no taste. We went to a shoe store. She put her foot in the measure. She said, I'll take it. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> she wears soap on a rope for jewelry. The one... <laughs> not a snappy dresser, eh? Earrings still on the cardboard. I mean, the one is just... And the sad thing was, Nancy came for lunch. I was going to ask you, but it was all girls. Yeah. And um, Nancy Reagan and the Queen, and Nancy looks fabulous. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. Oh, she does. No, I'm sorry. Yeah. Like her or not, Nancy Reagan's got a lot of class. Come yeah. on. Yeah. I mean, the woman has class. She picked a nose of breadstick. I was so... <laughs> certain upbringing, I guess, you learn, yeah. Well, I, kept, I, kept, I kept seeing, I kept seeing uh, well, the designer, Hardy Amys, is that his name? Hardy One of them who's supposed to design the clothes, very British, very British, you know, oh. saying that the Queen makes the final selection. Oh, that she shouldn't be allowed to. I mean, I mean you could be good at being a queen. There's, I mean, there's certain people... See, no one would tell the queen things. She sits like this, John. Have you ever seen legs crossed at the ankles and these short dresses? I mean, you know, and no one has the guts to say to her, Your Highness... <laughs> the guy broke into her bedroom. He went to say, Your Highness, hit the symbol. <laughs> See, Nancy, um, uh, well, all our first ladies are good looking, I must say. We've had some very attractive first yeah. ladies, yes. Jacqueline Onassis. Oh. Pretty. Oh, very pretty. Yeah. Funny eyes, but otherwise, oh. <laughs> she can look at her earrings, you know, while she was... <laughs> And she, she was smart, because she married, she used those looks. See, I respect women that I shouldn't start up with you. What? I, I respect women that marry big bucks, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's a certain advantage in that, I guess. Yeah, uh. but... <laughs> when, <laughs> when, they, when they don't marry for love... Yes. See, you're very attractive, so they would marry you for love. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, <laughs> Thank you. <That's... laughs> You're a good-looking man. Thank you. But Onassis, that was not a love match. Well, Mr. Onassis was not, uh, not Robert Redford. Yeah. Oh, that, please. <laughs> Did you ever meet him? Johnny, come on. He used to walk around the knuckles, he said, at the ground. Don't tell me about <laughs> Oh, was a little young. Uh, uh, if you ever saw him floating in your pool, you would punish your dog. <laughs> Not a good 
bad-looking man. You're talking, you know, you're talking, I'm talking a bad-looking person, yeah. I went to their wedding, we threw cow cans. And <laughs> but she was smart to marry and it was not, and she was, she, she was smart to marry him. Cause she, for money, you mean? Oh, don't you, it wasn't a love match. Uh, what? Well, did Barbara. you, come on, I went to the funeral, did you go to the funeral? No. She was waving goodbye with a visa card. <laughs> <laughs> She was eating popcorn during the service. The worst. She asked the funeral director, do you validate? I mean, the worst. <laughs> but she was smart. And yeah. she's going to marry Rich again, I'll bet you. You think Jackie's going to marry someone? Oh, I think she's great. I saw her in New York. Yeah. She must be 50 years old. She, the body looks great. You know, yeah. she looks all pulled together. You think of it. Well, you, you're together. Now you put oh. yourself down. Now you put yourself down. Oh, now, don't. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, Look at this. Oh, come on now. Oh, you please. take now, you... What do you do to take... Now, you in Beverly Hills, you live out here. They've yeah. got all these places now, the exercises. Every place you go is another uh, robicize, it's another Nautilus, it's another this or that. And you see Christy Brinkley advertising them and Jacqueline Smith and all those girls who don't need it. Exactly. They always have them on the cover. And I've never seen Christy Brinkley and Jack Lane Jett, yeah. you know, sitting there going like this. <laughs> Only in the paper. See, I don't... I, I exercise every day, ah. but just... But it doesn't seem to be... My body is... Go oh, my oh. rear end... Oh, my... Come on now. It is falling. I walk into a bar, they go bottoms down. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> My boot... Can we talk? Well... <laughs> my boobies are dropping so fast. John... Yes? <laughs> I wear a 34 long bra. <laughs> <laughs> Pet my dogs without baby. <laughs> <up. laughs> That's an awful sight. <laughs> hey, dog, yummy, eh? What? I, I, I went to a cocktail party on Sunday. The hostess gave me two extra coasters. I mean, <laughs> I mean do you know what My, I ran naked through the bedroom last night. I pointed my finger. Edgar went, phone home. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I gotta take. I'm a terrible audience for you, aren't I? Uh, we have to take a commercial break. We'll be back in just a second. Though. Joan Rivers and Neil Simon will join us. Stephen Bishop. Uh, so we were talking about. Well, you always do that self-deprecating that you're not well, in good shape. Please. Uh, no, come on now. Have uh, you ever thought of? Uh, uh, well, we've discussed this a little bit. <laughs> You know, plastic surgery. Oh, is thought of it? I guess they call it cosmetic surgery. They just call it help surgery. I mean, help oh, surgery? Yeah, but you gotta be careful. Yeah. I have a friend who, oh, she had her face pulled so damn tight, she walks her knees rip. I mean, it's just like, you know, you gotta be very careful. Well, you, they're good surgeons yeah, and bad, you oh, know. Yeah, some people, like Gloria Vanderbilt, I don't know if she had it done or not. No, I don't want to get sued. I don't no. know if she had it, but it looks like someone gave her to the woman with a vacuum cleaner. I mean, like, <laughs> she is a little. Did you ever meet her? No. I asked for an autograph. She wrote on my rear end. <laughs> I mean, it's but I don't. I wouldn't know where to start. Oh come on. Oh, now. Do you start with it? No. I, like, I you're a few years away from that. Oh, don't be kind, no, my come dear. On. Come on now. Please, King Tut sign my yearbook. I mean, I am so. <laughs> on my first sexual experience, I was raped by a Viking. I have been a. <laughs> <laughs> Eric the stupid. But anyhow. Well, do you think men are just interested in a physical yes. beauty of a woman? I mean, her four figure. No. Aren't you? Uh, no, no. Oh, no, John, no, 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 please. No. They gotta have it. Uh, oh, when do you look for that? After you've had the other. No, no, no. That sounds very uh, male chauvinist. But and all it's that. true. Well, By I... the initial attraction, of course, I think, with any two people. Like they say, across a crowded room, you go and you, and you make a contact with somebody. Uh, it's purely physical at that moment. It has to be. But after you, you know, get together, you've got to have more than that to sure. sustain it, don't you? Six or seven months later, you say, this girl is boring. <laughs> and it's just, you know, no, see, that's, I was going to put boobies in. Cause what, I, mean those implants? Oh, any, because I wanted to be, I always wanted to be Dolly Parton. Oh, no, not, oh. Dolly's a lovely lady. Oh. But, Juggle loonies. I mean, I know, it's like, she lies on the beach. She's snow capped. I mean, I know, it's like just, the woman looks like she's playing the bagpipe. It is just, in, but except men don't, men like them also. Like my friend Heidi Abramowitz. How is Heidi Abramowitz? Uh, I remember her. She was the she town. She had a baby, remember? I told you that. The town and tramp when you grew up. The, 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 the country tramp. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, she had more than 100 pounds than the Muppets. I mean, you I mean, <laughs> She bought 100 pumpkins and decorated colors. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> You're talking to a bad news girl. She has a beat runner IUD. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Colleen Heidi. She had a baby? She had a baby oh, and nice. named it after the father. Oh, what's the, what's the baby called? Trick. <laughs> I thought you were going to say the L.A. Rams. Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. After sex, she would say, was that good for you? Yes, would say the Navy. <laughs> it, it's, it's, she, but, you know, I think that going back now and um, to old-fashioned values, Mm -hmm. I think, like... Are you teaching your daughter that? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Marie Osmond now is, like, the epitome. Oh. Yes. A little too much with her, though, don't you think? Mm. Oh, come on, John. Nice, nice. Yeah, she had to, She got married to uncross her legs surgically. I mean, you reach your... Oh, <laughs> Marie Osmond, yes! Marie Osmond, please! Too, too nice, you think? She makes Debbie Boone look like a... Oh, sick. I mean, there is... <laughs> She gets in your car. She's a saint. She sits on the dashboard. I mean, that was... <laughs> But maybe that's what men like. Maybe my mother was telling me the truth. Well, what did your mother say? What did your mother ask you about women? That you were a good girl? Decent girl? Well, when I grew up, the, the, the term was uh, fast, which you don't hear anymore. She's no. fast. Yes, yes. That meant she was loose, you know, and so But that's forth. what your mother wanted you to go out with. She wanted you to go out with a nice uh, girl. Decent. Decent? She's a decent girl. And who would be a good homemaker. Yeah. And we, yeah, we were, we were all looking for the, the fast one. Uh, of course. Yeah. A trick pelvis and a pretty face. I'm telling you, <laughs> That's what counts, right? Because my, because see, I never learned to cook. My mother was smart. She said men never care about cooking. And my mother was right. right. I am a lousy cook and I don't give a damn. I couldn't care less. Yeah. Oh, please. I serve Raid for a salad dressing. <laughs> I could, oh. He wants a hot meal, let him sleep with Julia Child. I do, oh. <laughs> Edgar has no complaints, so. Well, every once in a while he says, please cook, please cook. So yesterday I said, I made a whole lamb for him. Yeah. You know, he's right away, he's bitching. Ah, I, the, the wool is hard to chew. I mean, I don't... <laughs> well, yeah, Edgar's so proper, you know. Picky, picky, picky. Picky, picky. <laughs> Okay, I, but, but things are going well. We've got to take a break here. We'll be right back. Stay where you are. 